Hey guys, it's your gal Jenny June. How are you doing today? We're going to talk about my messy counter here today. My Aldi's haul. It's a little dark over here. I do apologize. Um, I went a couple of days ago, so I had to dig some of this back out of my refrigerator. And some of it I've already used, but um, I still wanted to do my Aldi's haul because I thought it was a decent haul. That's about $127. The only thing that is missing so far <laughs> um, were these little socks that I found for my son Finn, who's five. They were the Mandalorian. There was a three pair. I have no idea why I have one left because, well, I know why, because of my son. But the other two pair did have um, Grogu on it, which is Baby Yoda. And then this pair was just a solid striped pair. But they got those little, oh gosh, what do you call them? Little rubber feelings that help them on the floors. And we've got hardwood floors. So, anyway, my son has took off with them. He acts like clothes or toys sometimes and just, you know, can't stand not having them. Um, I do want to go ahead and show you some stuff that I pulled out of the fridge and get at fridge and freezer and get those things back where they belong. So first of all is their milk. <clears throat> and um, let me turn on another light. Hang on. That's a little better. But I'm filming early morning and the sun is still rising. So my natural light is not complete yet. But anyway, all these milk, it's the Friendly Farms. Um, right now. I live in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm sure everywhere across the U.S. you're seeing that milk prices and things are going super high. Even at Walmart, where I used to get it for like 78 cents, now it's three something, 3.28 a gallon. And Aldi's used to be 78 cents, um, but they're two, 2.40 I think was the price. But that's still a little cheaper than Walmart. So I went ahead and grabbed a milk. Their milk tastes perfectly fine. Um, I did grab. Goodness. Some Driscoll's blackberries. I didn't realize I grabbed one organic and one not organic. I don't know why I did that. Um, I'm fine with the regular that's not organic, but you can already tell that we've been eating on one of the packages. We didn't get cheated. We've just been eating on it. Um, and then some blueberries. All right. And I love the Cherubs tomatoes from Nature Sweet. They're so good. I love putting them in a salad. Um, I also love sprinkling like a garlic paisley mix on them. You get your tomatoes wet and pour some garlic on there. And they are a nice, tasty treat. This is usually what I put on there. And I actually think that this came from Aldi's before. So I will put that on there on the tomatoes so so good i will eat the whole pint like throughout the day and uh, i did grab another thing of tomatoes because i do plan on doing the garlic tomatoes and i wanted some other ones for a salad also so either one of these would be fine with that little garlic treat i just showed you or you can um eat them plain eat them in a salad i'm very thankful that my five-year-old son does love to eat tomatoes Next up, we've got some Gala apples. This is one of our favorite tasting apples, so I always grab a bag of those. Um, then and I both can just sit and eat peppers, the red sweet peppers, assorted peppers, the red, orange, yellow, um, all taste so good, and the green, I like the green. The red, orange, and yellow are your sweeter ones, um, but we always get a package of these to eat. What else do I have that needs to go in the refrigerator? Okay. Um, these are the Caesar salad kits. I love them. I love them so much that I've got two, let's see, three, <laughs> and four of these kits. But in my family, we can eat a whole bag at lunchtime or at dinner time. And it's a whole kit. It's got everything you need in there. They're $3.49 a bag, and it, it's very tasty. The dressing is good. Croutons are good. The cheese, lettuce, it's all very, very good. All right. Let's see. Oh, here's another thing. Of, 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 did I say strawberries earlier? If I did, I meant to say blackberries. I think as the sun is still coming up, and I'm still waking up, too. All right. Next thing from my fridge is um, these yogurts. Ben loves yogurts. These are like 39 cents. 
So I got him an assortment of those. I got strawberry banana, strawberry, <clears throat> blueberry, and cherry. I don't think I've given him the cherry ones. He loves cherry flavored everything else, but I feel like maybe when he was very young, two, three, he didn't like cherry flavored yogurt, but I thought I'd try to sneak that in and see if we can do another taste test on that. Um, I also got my Friendly Farms coconut milk and my Friendly Farms unsweetened almond milk. I use these for my protein shakes. I need to get a lot better about drinking those from Shakeology um, Beachbody, but I need to get back on track with those. So I went ahead and got one each of those. I love spinach as far as just eating it like it is. Um, I plan on sneaking some of this into this Caesar salad over here to get a little more fiber in. Um, sneak that in on the kid. All that fun stuff. <laughs> um, but if not, even just putting tomatoes and the spinach together with like a raspberry vinaigrette dressing is very, very tasty. I love to do that. And then I have an impulse guy here. These are carrots. I'm sure they're not going to be the best for you by the time I cook them because they're earthy carrots and sweet parsnips and a brown sugar bourbon glaze. They just sound amazing. So I'm going to actually cook these tonight. And I think when you just bake them. Oh, it's a stove top. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some reading before I cook them up them in the oven, but they do have it in a skillet there on the picture. So I have to figure that out, but that's what we're having for dinner tonight, along with <laughs> my missing chicken, which is over here behind me in a crock pot. This is the thin sliced chicken breast. Um, they're fresh, it's boneless and skinless. I have gotten chicken from Aldi's before and I've not had a problem with it. It tasted like anywhere else. Um, this was $8.07 for a package of chicken, another just, oh my gosh, you know. I guess the brand is never any, but they're cage-free, so that's why they're a little bit higher than normal, but again, everything's skyrocketing, just the price of stuff. All right, another item I gotta get in the fridge. So we've seen a lot of healthy stuff, so you know, you gotta have a little variation, especially when you have a child, you gotta have um, some treats around. So this is the drumsticks. This was only $6 for the box, which I thought wasn't too terribly bad. You get eight of them in here. It's a variety pack. You get chocolate, vanilla, caramel, and regular vanilla. They did have the all vanilla pack. I just wanted to spice it up a bit. Woohoo! <laughs> and get some chocolate and some vanilla caramels. I do make these on a rare, rare occasion. But they are extremely tasting. It's the Bakehouse Creation Cinnamon Rolls. Um, I think the last time I made these was on Christmas morning. I'm so original and so creative making my homemade ones not. But these are very cheap. It was less than a dollar for that can. And um, they're tasty. So I just had them for a special breakfast one morning. And then the Crescent Rolls, the Pillsbury ones are awesome. But these are like a lot cheaper. And they taste just as good. Also by Bakehouse Creations. Grabbed a thing of Driscoll's raspberries. Ben and I will just eat those out of the package. Ben likes these little moo tubes, like the Go-Gurts. They're from Friendly Farms. This was the cotton candy and melon berry. And then I got a thing of mozzarella cheese. This is the fresh mozzarella cheese. This is so good on my little keto pizzas that I like to make. So, so tasty. And then I also grabbed a two-pack of Best Choice Cream Cheese. I'm always using cream cheese for a lot of my cooking. Um, so I'm always needing those. And right now, cream cheese is like, for a Pillsbury one, it's $3 and something for one. I remember when you could get these for like less than a dollar, then a dollar twenty-five, a dollar fifty. I don't, I feel like they went from under $2 to $3.50, dollars all of a sudden for one. And this package for two is like $3.19, I think. <clears throat> and then I think my last fridge item here is a package of celeries. Celeries. Celery, celery hearts. Um, I love just eating this with peanut butter. It's a nice snack. Or putting it in for a roast. All right, I'm going to put things back in my freezer and freezer. My freezer. 
my freezer and refrigerator and I'll be back in a second. All right guys, so I got everything put away in the fridge and freezer. So I wanna come over here and talk about these Clancy's kettle chips. Oh my God, they're so delicious. I love kettle chips. I went ahead and got a little, um, not a little, a regular size bag of those cause I love them. Um, I have my little sock monkey back here. I'm almost forgetting to drink my coffee this morning. How could I do that? Let me take a sip here. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. All right. And then I got a big old bag. It's a 10 pound bag of potatoes. Russell. Not Russell, but Russet's potatoes. That's the type of potato it is. And got some fruit snacks. I mean, with little ones, you're going to have some fruit snacks, right? And Finn also loves to grab these little mini muffins. He likes the confetti cake. And these are by Baker's Treat. The fruit snacks are lunch buddies. And for Finn's lunch, I also got these little mini peanut butter sandwich crackers. So like little tiny Ritz crackers and some peanut butter in there. A little bit of protein, nice healthier snack option than you know, a candy bar. <laughs> um, this was a pretty good deal. I think I paid like a dollar for this, less than a dollar. No, it was much less than a dollar. But it's a whole bag of jalapenos. There's some good looking jalapenos. Um, I do a dip that I use jalapenos for. And I also make a fresh salsa that I use jalapenos for. So I went ahead and grabbed this bag. I've had these before. They're so good. I've even done my Aldi's haul. I've shown you guys these before. The garlic knots. Savory garlic. They are so good. You leave them in the bag and put them in your oven and cook them. Um, they're so delicious. Such mm, just yumminess. Um, but they're so, so tasty. I'm just telling you. you got to get you some. And then I saw this bag of pears. This was $4.69, I believe. This is three pounds of pears. I love pears. They're a little hard. So doing the old school trick when I want one, I'll put one in a brown paper bag. I've got those little lunch sacks and it will automatically soften them up and be ready to consume in my mouth. And I wanted to try these. They're keto crackers, so the everything keto crackers. So I'm hoping they're tasty. I've never had these before, but went ahead and grabbed those to give those a try. Also grabbed an English seedless cucumber. That's pretty daggone long. If I do say so myself. And then I got some cappuccino drink mixes, French vanilla. I used to drink these all the time. I just hadn't had them in a while. So I went ahead and grabbed these. And let's see. How many are in here? I think there are 12 in here. 12, yeah, 12 single cups for my Keurig, make, Keurig maker over here. I also grabbed these Clancy pretzel rods. My son loves pretzel rods. He was asking me for some, so I picked up these. They didn't have any in the bag, but they had them in these containers. Um, a little pricey on these. I think I paid $4 for those. I thought that was a little high for some pretzel rods, because sometimes I've gotten those at the Dollar Tree. But I went ahead and got them because he was wanting some. He wasn't with me, but he that's when his one request for my grocery list was for him to have those. I love me some dill pickles so i went ahead and picked up a great jerkins kosher dill pickles love me some pickles and then guys my last item here is the sunflower kernels these are the roasted salted by southern grove i love this resealable bag because you only need like a little bit of these when you're eating them you know to stay within your calorie range and um just enough for a little treat um, a little snack, healthy snack, and my five-year-old loves them. So I love that he loves them because we will share them together. So pick that up also. All right, guys, that is my Aldi's haul. Let me know what you, you know, thought about what I picked up. Don't come for me in the comments if I got some bad snacky stuff. You know, we all do it. We all do it. And, um... There's my little all these bags. But thank you very much for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, check and make sure that you're still subscribed to me. Because I don't want to lose you. I want to have you, you know, be part of my YouTube family. Leave me a comment. Tell me how your day is going. What's up with you? Like the video on your way out. And a share would be super, super nice.
All right, guys, check out my other videos. I do have a lot of giveaways going on right now. So go and check those videos out. Follow along with my little instructions and um, get entered for those because they end in March. And I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more giveaways. I've got so much stuff that I need to give to you guys. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.